Just yesterday, Virginia Governor Ralph Northam outlined goals and a timeline for setting coronavirus vaccinations on the fast track. He wants at least 25,000 administered daily. Today, another 3,200 doses were added to the almost 136,000 total. Vaccinations have begun at the Hampton VA Clinic. And 10 News Science Mighty Lena Valores has that story. Well, Anita, I spoke with doctors at the VA Medical Center in Hampton today, and they told me that the vaccines really offer hope to the staff, patients, and veterans there. They started administering the vaccines on December 23rd, and they say so far it's going really well. Across the country, medical staff at VA facilities have administered more than 146,000 COVID-19 vaccines. Doctors at the VA Medical Center in Hampton can't provide the specific number of vaccinations there, but they say the facility is one of 113 VA medical centers across the country to get the first limited supply of the Moderna vaccine. These started going out to staff and high-risk veterans last month. They were very, very hopeful, excited. They felt like they were each one had a personal story. Someone said they did it for their parents or for their child, or it personalized and humanized what is truly a momentous thing for our country. Doctors say they have a specific building on campus dedicated to vaccines and rollout has gone well. The overwhelming positive feedback we have received for our rollout of COVID-19 vaccination has been overwhelming. They're almost finished giving out the first dose of the vaccine to that first group, and they're determined to use all of their supply. We really are prioritizing throughput as much as possible. We are re uh, we have dedicated staff who are, are just assigned to these tasks, uh, who are really, really focusing on optimizing the schedules and getting as many people uh, staff and veterans vaccinated as, as fast as possible. The doctors say they haven't seen anyone with significant side effects and encourage every veteran to get the shot when it's their turn. It's vitally important uh, for, the, for their own health and, and really the well-being of our community at large. The next phase includes veterans between the ages of 65 and 74 who may have other medical conditions. The VA wants to be able to vaccinate all veterans when it's their time. They say they'll contact veterans as they progress through these tiers. I'm Maria Elena Baloris, 10 on your side.